Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Hello. Ah, yes, there you are. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. You're not subtle. That trail had you written all over it in uppercase bold letters and extremely messy handwriting. I'd have to be a fool not to notice. So, what are you up to this time? Oh, how much do I know? Hmm, you're talking like you've got something to hide. Been up to no good, have we? <laughs> For the record, I know just enough to be sure you're up to something. I'm not sure what it is yet, but... I also know that something's been troubling you these past few weeks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what did I tell you? Denial is what? Say it with me. A river in Egypt. <laughs> You've been spacing out an awful lot lately. Half the time you look like you're somewhere else. Like your mind's just wandering in dreamland. Can't even talk to you because it's so obvious. You hear, but you don't listen. Clearly you've got something going on, and I'm going to hazard a guess that that's why you're here, in this warehouse, at this ungodly hour of the morning, night, eh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> a mission? Come on, you can do better than that. We're peas in a pod, you and I. One mind and one soul as far as the boss is concerned. There's no way he assigned you a mission that's too classified for me to know about. In fact, it'd be strange if he even assigned either of us to a solo mission in the first place. Yeah, try again. <laughs> you want me to leave? <laughs> nope, wrong answer. Maybe I'd leave if you stopped acting shady. Look. I'm not going to leave you alone when you're like this. I mean, you should see yourself right now. You're distracted, and I know you haven't slept in weeks. The walls are thin. I can hear you pacing a path through the carpet every night. Even if I couldn't, how could I miss all those bags under your eyes? It's bad form, especially for one of the Viper's most trusted subordinates. What would I do if I wasn't with the clan? See, the, the lack of sleep's messing with your head. I was nobody before Viper picked me up. If I hadn't joined, I'd still be a nobody. But we don't talk about that anymore. Remember? Yeah, we, we should really head back. Talk more on the way home. What? Look, you're not well right now. You, you look sick, tired. Whatever it is you're trying to do here, it's not going to work when you're in this state. Let's just go back. You can get stuff done and, yeah, after you've had a long nap and a bite to eat. But what are you talking about? Leaving the clan. You. This isn't the lack of sleep talking, is it? Hey, what's going on? As long as we're under Viper, we're guaranteed a life. At the very least, when we die, we won't be nobody is remembered by no one, without a cent to our names and no trace of us left on the earth. And you're going to leave all that behind? For what, a life on the run? No end in sight and no reward for your troubles? I mean, forgive me for being blunt, but that's just pure foolishness, and you know it. You're getting cold feet now? What's a little blood on your hands compared to a lifetime of nothingness? I'm, I'm not saying I like it, but... We've been doing this since we were old enough to handle weapons. It seems a bit late for redemption at this point. This is just who we are. And I, I thought we were always in agreement about that. You have a plan. 
What kind of smugglers? So you're leaving this area and you paid them for a ticket out. So that's where your paycheck went last month. Is, is that why you've been surviving on sandwiches lately? Poured all your lunch money into this crazy pipe dream. This is, it's, it's insane. Come on, you know it is. What's so bad about living like this? It's how we've always been. This, this is life. Yours, mine, our life. It, it's never going to change, but we don't have to be good people. The world never allowed us that luxury. At least here, both of us are safe and, and, and we'll be together. Isn't that all we've ever needed? Fuck, would, would you actually just leave without even... Let's leave together then. <laughs> I mean, so far it looks like you were perfectly happy to leave alone. Just disappear out of my life without a trace. As if the last decade means nothing to you. You knew I'd never agree. I, I suppose you're right. <laughs> you know me too well. What was that? The people you paid are, are here. Damn, just... No, don't... No, don't go. Look, look, this is, this is lunacy. Come on, listen to me. You take your phone out of your pocket and you call them right now. You call off the whole plan. Tell them you're not going and they can keep the money. I'll feed you with my own damn paycheck for the next month if I have to. No, no, don't move a muscle. No, you move and, and I'll shoot. And, and you know I don't miss. Just, just think this through, please. You think you'll be guaranteed peace just because you're out of this city? The boss will hunt you down. You know he will. You know what he does to traitors. He won't stop it, capturing you or just killing you. He'll have to do it in the cruelest way that he knows how. Do you, do you think I could live if that happened? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. Losing you is bad enough. What am I supposed to do knowing that you're out there all alone and all expected to be the one to hunt you down like a dog? It, it may be the life we chose, but it's not the life I wanted for us. I can't, I can't let you go like this. No, move a single step towards that door and I'll shoot. Wait, no, damn it. I missed. Of course I did. You know damn well I can't hurt you. What the hell am I going to say to the boss? Whatever I like. You're so cruel sometimes. Just stay. Please don't go. Please. Don't go.